this tutorial will be on uh, manually atlasing an avatar for VRChat. So that way we have more than one material in case we want transparency or something else on one of the materials. And Cube's flatlit tune cutout does not handle transparency very well, particularly for uh, materials such as blushes. So when we, what we do is we take that and we put that on a different material which uses fade instead. Now we've got everything done on our model. So we're going to start by going to optimization, material, and combining all these materials because some of them are the same. And we don't want to manually atlas materials where we have multiples that are uh, the same that takes up unnecessary space. So the difference between these two is a matter of shading or color. Yeah. Or transparency. But who cares? I'm going to save and then we could just atlas it like it is. We could auto atlas or we could manually atlas, but that would only be one material. So we're going to go to model and we're going to separate by materials. Now, as far as I remember, this avatar doesn't really have any transparency that I want to keep, but that's fine. I'll just show you how to put them into multiple materials. We're going to, we're going to put this avatar on two materials. So right now, it's split up by its five materials into five different meshes. We're going to select with the left mouse button, and then holding shift, we can select more. Now I've selected these three. I'm going to go to the user perspective, and I'm going to, or the this window where my mouse is, I'm going to hit control J to join those uh, meshes. I'm going to select the other two meshes and join them into a mesh. I'm going to name you body1 for the hell of it, and body2. And then from here, although you probably already know how to manually atlas and also auto atlas. Actually, yeah, that's another thing you can do under optimization and atlas. That, uh, you atlas by uh, mesh. So I could just select body1 and then check my texture side and settings and just create an atlas for body one and body two. And that would work just fine. But we want to manually atlas this and we only have we have no more than three materials for atlas, so that's a very easy easy thing to get done. I'm going to hide my second mesh. So now we've only got our first mesh. I'm gonna hide my armature as well. Now I always like to make a bass backup save. Pre atlas. So yeah, then we're gonna open up our. We're gonna pull up the second window. Select UV and image editor, and right click on our avatar. We're gonna preemptively take our bake and set that to textures, and then we're gonna select texture atlas and create a new atlas for our body. Let's just call it Texture Atlas Body 1. Uh, I don't really care about details. We're just going to do a 1K atlas. We're going to start our manual unwrap and finish it. Right click on the avatar, hit tab, and select Keep UV and Edit Mode Mesh Selection in Sync. And this is going to get our materials to show up. Now before we select our materials individually, we're going to select on the uh, object data and we're going to go down to our UV maps. The texture Atlas Body 1 will be highlighted, but our camera will be on UV Map 1 so that when we bake our Atlas, all our textures will have the correct uh, textures applied and they won't be... Like I could just show you right now if... I'll leave it as Texture Atlas Body 1 on, so that way I can show you what happens. So I'm going to select my first material, move that, select my second material, move that, select them all, and size them down. Now, when I bake and I don't have the UV map viewed, that doesn't look very accurate to what the avatar is normally. So, when I bake based on the UV map, you can see that the colors are all as they should be. And I'm not going to go into the fine-tuning of 
getting all the detail I can out of this atlas because it's just for a tutorial. So once you have your atlas, how you want it, you're going to go down here to image, select save as image, and just save it. And after you've saved your image, you don't have to worry about it, and you can get rid of that. Now then, usually I like to make an image for all of my uh, mesh pieces before I uh, do anything, oh, but you can do it one by one. Now I'm going to go to body 2, create a new atlas, ah, let's just call that some gibberish. going to open up a UV map image editor. I've got my mesh selected. I'm going to start manual unwrap and finish manual unwrap. Right click tab. We already have the UV edit mode mesh selection and sync, so we don't have to worry about that. Preemptively switch to view the UV map. And let's select and separate our two materials. Size them down and we can bake. Oh, beautiful. Alright. We're going to save as image, and now we have our two UV maps at the ready. Now, before, uh, let me show you. Let me save it. We could just say, oh, let's, uh, no, that would be kind of silly, because we still haven't applied any materials, right? So we need to, from body two, we're going to Oh, I'm in edit mode. Yeah. We're going to use this minus button under materials to remove the current materials, and that's going to go black. And let's just do that to the body one as well. So there are no materials and textures being applied to the avatar, so it's a solid black. Now, body one, we're going to select new material, name it body one, or whatever you want to name it. Give it a new texture, name it uh, whatever you want. And then we're going to select Open Image, and we're going to open the Body 1 Atlas. And then you can just, uh, if you want to see the textures applied, you're going to hit N to open up this side menu. And we're going to scroll all the way down and select Shadeless. And as you can see, the colors have applied. We're going to do the same thing for Body 2. We're going to create a new material. Oh, that's Texture Oops. You can delete that texture by clicking this X. We're going to go back and create a new material. I'm not going to bother renaming it. We're going to create a new texture. Again, not renaming it. And we're going to select our atlas. And every time you do this, you have to hit shadeless again. So usually I just apply them all and hit shadeless. And now we have our fully colored two material avatar. And uh, so what you do here is you hit uh, join meshes, but the problem is it's going to look like ass. So I'm going con to control Z and go back because we left the UV maps. So we're going to select UV map, delete it, and rename texture atlas body to UV map. And we're going to do this for body 2 as well. And both of these new UV maps need to be renamed to UV map and need to be identical in them, otherwise, you will have issues. And then we can join meshes, and we've got our single mesh, two material avatar. And at that point, maybe you haven't applied your eye track and your biozemes yet, you can get that taken care of. And then it's just a matter of exporting as an FBX and dropping it into Unity.